We're following breaking news tonight after nine people died in a crash. This happened in Andrews County near Midland in West Texas last night. The coach and six members of the University of the Southwest golf team were killed. We've learned one student who died is Travis Garcia. He's a 2021 graduate from Pleasanton High School. Kent's Five reporter Vanessa Croy is joining us now with new reaction from Pleasanton. Vanessa. Well, Sharon, very understandably, the Pleasanton community is in shock tonight as they're learning about the tragic death of Travis Garcia. Just 30 minutes ago, we received a statement from Pleasanton ISD. Athletic Director Tab Dumont said in part, the Pleasanton community is grieving for the entire family. He said not only was Travis a phenomenal golfer and great kid, he comes from a great family. He goes on to say that his mom used to work for the district and Travis was doing great things in college and in life. He said our prayers go out to Travis, his family, and the entire team at his university. A DPS said that crash happened around 8.20 last night when a van carrying the university's golf team collided with a pickup truck on a two-lane highway in Andrews County. Preliminary crash reports say the pickup truck veered into the oncoming lane and hit the van carrying the golf team. Both vehicles caught fire. Two of those students, both from Ontario, Canada, were taken to a Lubbock hospital in critical condition. We've learned two other students were from Texas were also killed in the crash. Carissa Rains from Fort Stockton and Lacey Stone from Nakona, that's northwest of Dallas. Stone's mother told our sister station that Lacey had big dreams and had the heart the size of Texas. Her mom wrote this emotional post on Facebook today, saying in part, our Lacey is gone. She's been an absolute ray of sunshine during the short time on Earth. We'll never be the same after this, and we just don't understand how this happened to our amazing, beautiful, smart, joyful girl. But I do know that she had a relationship with God that everyone could see, and I will always hold that near to my heart. And we also know that Brandeis High School alumni Taylor Phillips also played in that tournament, but we can't confirm if she was riding in the van with her teammates. Brandeis Golf tweeted this today saying, our love and prayers go out to former Broncos softball player and golfer Taylor Phillips as she copes with the unimaginable tragedy today involving her coach and teammates at the University of the Southwest. Now, DPS said the driver of the pickup truck also died in the crash, along with his 13-year-old passenger. NTSB is sending a team to assist DPS with the ongoing investigation into what happened. But for now, the University of the Southwest posted a donation site to support the victims and their families.